Today's webisode is brought to you by Victoria Michael Public Relations. Victoria Michael Public Relations is a full-service boutique public relations firm that addresses the needs of a wide range of clients, keeping you in constant contact with the community and the media. www.vmpublicrelations.com I'm Pamela. I'm Avon. And I'm Kate. Welcome to today's District Dish. Today we are dishing with you from Nathan's. It's Nathan's 40th anniversary. They're located at the corner of Wisconsin and M Streets Northwest in Georgetown. Our wonderful new guest today is Tara De Nicholas, who's the Director of Communications for the Washington Humane Society. Welcome, Tara. Thank you. And, and who is this? This? <laughs> this is a Washington Humane Society alumni, Tinsley, who Aww. I adopted about a year and a half ago. Aww. And she will not be able to attend Fashion for Cause because I will be too busy. So this, yeah. this was her moment of Fashion for Cause. <laughs> she wants to get shining. back to work. Look yeah. <laughs> Speaking up. of Fashion for Cause, events have been going on all over town, but some of our viewers actually do not know what Fashion for Pause is. Can you believe it? No. So you have to tell us what Fashion for Paws is. Fashion for Paws is, uh, really, it's a, about 60 Washingtonians that get mm -hmm. together and for about eight to ten weeks before the event happens, they fundraise um, and they raise about $3,000 each to walk in the show yeah. and some compete to raise more money to see who can raise the most. Mm -hmm. So as of today, we are about six weeks in, we raised $130,000 so far. That is all insane. Of these, wow. it's all of the models that we have to thank, they're the ones out there raising the funds right now and making it all happen. Wow. So we're very grateful for them. And this is a third year. Of third a, year in yeah. a row. This is your baby. This is, this is your... It is, besides Tinsley. It's, <laughs> you have the baby. it's just a little bit bigger, but it will be about a thousand people. It's on um, Saturday, March 28th at the Embassy of, of Italy. Yes, yes. and it's mm -hmm. going to be phenomenal. I think this year I've learned a lot from the past two years, mm -hmm. so I'm going to address any of the little mistakes I might have made. Mm -hmm. So that's no mistakes. Well, everything's a learning process. process. Yeah. 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 Everything yeah. changes. Yeah. Process. It is. Right. But you know, everyone really loves it because it's a chance for some of the people that we know that have some more outgoing personalities to walk the runway. That's and true. and there are, sometimes you get a little dog or, or animal to walk with you, which is kind of fun. But really, it, it's the people we know that are the hands. Right. Yes, yes, <laughs> they're crazy. Absolutely. Right there. And it's true. the unknown and unexpected. When they're walking with a little dog, you don't know what's going to happen. And that's, and that's the fun of just seeing Did you kind excitement. of ever wish, in a way, you're like, I really hope that the dog gets loose and runs off, or the dog goes, no, we had that for some people. A bit. <laughs> that sounds like my dog. That's what you do. Last year, Paul Wharton's dog that he adopted from the Washington Humane Society, Oscar, at the end of the runway, I don't think many people saw, he um, backed up out of his collar and kind of ran away. <laughs> <laughs> he covered it up very easily. I didn't <laughs> notice that. That's what Paul is a professional, right. so yeah. he knew right. what to do and handled it gracefully, and um, it went off without a hitch. But so you're so lucky. what, over, since this is the third year, what, Tara, have you found um, to, like, as this event has evolved? What type of things have really stuck out in your mind as being really, really positive or, or things that you, are the highlights, if you will? I think the highlights, I can't believe what this event does about bringing the community together. I've never mm -hmm. seen so many people from all different crowds across the city mm -hmm. come together for one common purpose, which is to raise money for homeless animals. I think just bringing those people together is incredible mm -hmm. and watching that spirit come alive as the event gets closer. On the more practical end, the things that I've seen just as far as um, the clothing and, and the runway, we brought in some experts uh, last year, Abba Kua, who does mm -hmm. the styling and does all the backstage. This year, Tyson's mm -hmm. Galleria is doing all of the clothing with all their phenomenal retailers. Oh, so wow. it's really stepped up the fashion and that's where we really need to go with this event is yeah, right. higher levels of fashion, um, having designers come down and things mm -hmm. like that is what we're working on. We're gonna add a dance party this year, so at Good. 10 p.m. a new Fun. tent will open where yeah. all the guests get to walk into, and the frustrations are gonna be playing. I love the frustration. Oh. So I think it's just adding new That's elements awesome. to the event every year. We need to keep it fresh and keep it exciting. Well, I know why half of Washington women are going to be going. You have a pretty exciting, um, Celebrity host, is that what I should call him? Jack Evans. Jack will be there, he'll be on the runway. We did get lucky and Val Kilmer has recognized this event and is working very hard to be there on the night of. Oh, that'd be great. And we have Luke Ruster as well as Victoria yeah. Stillwell from Animal Planet, okay. Okay. who I watch all the time. Uh, me too. It's a show about exciting. animal training for your me dog. Too, yeah. um, but really, and then the biggest announcement we have right now is uh, Michael Saylor has agreed to come back as chairman again this year and is supporting the event again, which we're so incredibly, incredible. incredibly also thankful for. also a reason for. that half of Washington right. women would want to go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes, there will be a full <laughs> lineup of beautiful single men and women that oh, nobody should be. miss seeing. Always so a cool. fun time. I really know, I know. So, oh, yeah, and, and what type of plans do should we expect um, after this year? 
anything that you can share with us? Dish with Ooh, us? Ooh, yeah. Tell us the news first. I can always dish. I think what we've learned is that this event concept, the model, how the fundraising plays into it, mm -hmm. the level of competition and excitement can really help humane societies all over. So. It, in my head, I would love to say that we could eventually one day do it for different cities and different humane mm -hmm. societies mm -hmm. and really grow because local humane societies do not have the ability themselves to have staff to, to raise this much money mm -hmm. right. and to engage this community and do these types of things. So Go what ahead. we've learned is that um, this is an incredible model that we've founded here in D.C. and that we can apply it to other places. It's awesome. And, and we're just so lucky to be in a city where I think we have this philanthropic set here that's kind yep. of set the bar as Absolutely. to what people can do when they put their mind to something here and we have fun doing it and that's kind of the best part. That is so true. What do you do with the money? That's the really beautiful thing about the Washington Humane Society. We are a small organization in the sense of overhead, but the amount of volume and work that we do is um, vast. And we handle about 20,000 animals a year, okay. lost and found humane um, law enforcement on the city streets every day. We do humane law enforcement. Um, we take people to trial here all the time. Mm -hmm. So the money that, that everybody's donating right now mm -hmm. in full force is it's incredible that it really goes straight to the shelters. You can certainly see us going straight to our spay neuter center where we spay neuter at low cost for the community so that we can actually end the problem of euthanasia and yeah. overpopulation because the only way to stop the cycle is to stop the numbers from coming into our shelters. And on the other hand, we have a very strong humane education program in city schools, which is another point that we know the only way to really stop the cycle on in addition to spaying and neutering, is work with the at-risk youth and children mm -hmm. to educate them and show them the other ways in life that they're all, that animals should be treated. And you're doing some stuff with the um, wounded soldiers too? That is another program yeah. that Washington Humane Society has started. It's with our new Behavior and Learning Center where we offer classes to the public, which Tinsley needs, but we haven't gone yet. Oh. But we um, started a program last year, Kevin Simpson, who's our Director of Animal Behavior and Training, where soldiers from Walter Reed volunteer and come across the street because our shelter's right by them. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And it's actually um, a training program for the soldiers because they get on the job training in animal behavior okay. so that when they leave the service, they now have a career that they would like to go into and a certification in that career. So it helps the animals in our shelters, it helps the soldiers. It's just, I think Washington Humane Society is a model humane society that other humane societies across the country can really learn from because we're doing so much as far as programs in the city and, and for the animals. And Excellent. you're helping out with that's that awesome. a lot. Yeah. And you I inspired love me it. to get you inspired me to actually get my dog two years ago. I got mine from a shelter. You have a dog? Yeah, I do. That's what I said earlier. You that. You knew that. I have a dachshund beagle mix, and he's. Um, I got him from a, a high kill shelter, and oh. actually in in. Um, uh, in Virginia, North mm -hmm. Virginia, oh. about two, a little over two years, almost three years ago. He's about maybe four years old now. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was actually they were gonna put him to sleep, but I didn't. Oh my goodness! Well, so I fostered him for two weeks. Him? I know I fostered him for two weeks and, and rescued him, and uh, now he, he, now he eats well. well. He yes. wants, he wants to. And then she, yes, she just didn't <laughs> leave my house. <laughs> Me too. Like, I That's what two happened. Weeks and all yeah. of a sudden, like, you want to keep him? Like uh, he's already here. It's, I can't imagine him with a dachshund in. though, like a teeny. I expect he was like a mastiff or something. Yeah, I thought. Well, your personality, you can own it. You can just. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's short hair, but he's long, and so he's like he has a you know the bow leg dachshund, the 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 snout, and everything else like a like a like a miniature dachshund, but he's a little bit bigger, and um, but he's he's long. So he's, actually he's this long, like he's long. See, you, you do, yeah. Ooh. Well, okay. So anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna say that you know how people look like their pets. So you're long. That's true. So yeah. maybe. Yes. That's yeah. true. And this one's adorable. So <laughs> obviously, yeah, so yeah. I, don't, I don't have a pet. Yeah. I've Tim. never had a pet. I've never even had a fish. I've never had anything. You're too busy. Yeah, I've got to learn to take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to take care of an animal, that's what I always say. So uh, maybe I'll learn soon. Yes, yes, but, um, yes. <laughs> um, I'm a huge animal lover. And I, it, it's not just about the animals, but I, I think also the, as you mentioned before, the, the humane side of it, of yeah. it, with it has to do with the humanita humanitarian side with the, the soldiers and the children and, and law enforcement. I think that's very admirable. So don't forget to buy your tickets for Fashion for Paws. Again, it's March 28th at the Italian Embassy. And the website is, Tara? It is washhumane.org, and you can visit, um, click on the homepage button for Fashion for Paws on that website. So don't miss it, and don't miss us on the next District Dish.